Hello grade 9 math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have lesson 2 of this unit, raising quotients to a power. Uh, we're going to do some examples. Uh, one example that is straightforward, uh, then get more complicated. Um, let's hop right in. It's a lot like last lesson. All right, so we are going to write out the question. We've got 2 to the power of 2 divided by 2 to the power of 3. You can't see that. Okay, now you can see that. So we are going to, because they're divided by each other, same base, we are going to subtract the exponents. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So this is 2 to the power of minus 1. We don't like ex negative exponents in our answer. So we take the whole thing that is to the negative 1, and we put it on the bottom. That's 1 over 2 to the power of one. So this, sorry, this negative shouldn't be there. That's one half that equals. Uh, we don't need to put the power of one because it's just two on the bottom and that just, it's, it is what it is. Let's go into the next one over. We've got two to the power of four over two to the power of two to the power of four. Okay, so in this case, we want to get rid of this extra exponent so that we can just go ahead and subtract. Uh, what we're going to need to do then is multiply these together. So this is the same as 2 to the power of 4 over 2 times 4 is 8. So that's 2 to the power of 8. And then we are going to subtract these two. two uh, 4 minus 8 equals minus 4. So 2 to the minus 4. And then we flip that over because we don't like negative exponents. That's 1 over 2 to the power of 4. And in this one, I kept the power because it was not 1. Anything other than one, I have to write. Let's go to the next one. I guess I can leave this one on the screen. All right, we have three over three to the power of four, all to the power of three. Um, let's do the subtraction first, and then we can do the exponent of the whole thing. There are two different ways we could do it, but let's do it this way. Uh, we have 1 minus 4, so that is 3 to, to the power of negative 3, all to the power of 3. We can go ahead and then multiply these two exponents. 3 to the power of negative 3 times 3, so that's 3 to the power of negative 9. And we don't want any negative exponents in our answer, so that's 1 over 3 to the power of 9. Getting a lot of negatives, I think that's just a coincidence. I wouldn't think that that is a regular thing with all these problems. All right, let's do the next one. Uh, two to the power of two, all to the power of four, and then two to the power of four. So the difference in this one is that we are going to get rid of the exponent first because the bracket is not encompassing the entire um, fraction. We are going to do this exponent first. In this one above, we did what was inside the brackets first because the brackets encompass the entire thing. So two times four is eight. So this is two to the power of eight divided by two to the power of four. Same base, so we subtract the exponents. That's two to the power of four for our final answer. You can pause and give the next ones uh, a try and see if you got them right. Uh, I will continue on right away. So we have 4 to the power of 4 divided by 4 to the power of 3 squared. Okay, so in this one, the uh, brackets do not encompass the whole thing, so we're going to get rid of them first down here. 4 to the power of 4 stays on the top. 3 times 2 is 6, so that's 4 to the power of 6. Then we're going to go ahead and subtract these, so that's 4 to the power of minus 2, because 4 minus 6 is minus 2. And we'll turn that into a fraction with a positive exponent. Okay, So we're getting rid of brackets. We are then going ahead and doing the quotient or the other way around. Uh, let's go. We've got 4 over 4 to the power of 4 next. This one will be straightforward. 1 minus 4 is minus 3. We flip it over. 1 to the power of 1 over 4 to the power of 3. 
19. 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4, all divided by just 2. Uh, the brackets do not encompass the entire thing, so we are just going to um, do them, do the top first, and then work through it. So 3 times 4 is 12. And then we have a 1 here, so then 12 minus 1 is 11. And we have one last one, all threes, kind of fun. Okay, so in this case, the brackets um, encompass the entire thing. So we can do that, you know, first. And three divided by three, uh, even if they're just like single exponents, is one, right? If we go, um, 3 to the power of 1 divided by 3 to the power of 1. We're going to subtra subtract the exponents. 1 minus 1 is 0. And anything to the power of 0 is 1. So we would be able to say that this is 1 to the power of 3, which is 1 times 1 times 1, which we know equals 1. And we could also do the other step first. So we could alternatively do 3 times 0, right? And that's 3 to the power of 0, and we know that 3 to the power of 0 is 1. So either way, no matter how you do it, uh, the answer for this question of all 3s is 1. And that's because what we have in the brackets is equal to 1. If you have any questions, please let me know. But thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you soon.